Welcome to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Today, I'm going to be earning 100% on the Platinum Trophy. That means grabbing all 100 golden spatulas, all 80 of Plankton's sweaty socks, defeating robo bosses to stop the always scheming Plankton, and much more. So sit back, relax, and join me as I unlock all 33 of SpongeBob's trophies. We started off in SpongeBob's house, of course. The game quickly teaches us how to play and that we need to collect shiny objects, socks and golden spatulas. After grabbing everything in the house, I got my first trophy. Time for tutorial. Moving on, I headed out into Bikini Bottom and had to make my way up the side of a mountain. Once at the top, it was time for a boss fight. <laughs> Just staring. <laughs> Okay. Our first one with a giant jellyfish. It was pretty straightforward. Move around, avoiding it until it does this charge slam. Jump around the electric beams and then slap it. After three slaps, I beat it and unlocked the jellyfish jam trophy. There we go. All right, last hit. Boom. So I collected the jelly and jumped down the slide. And yes, he slides down this thing on his tongue. <laughs> That's one huge tongue, SpongeBob. Anyway, at the bottom, I collected my 10th golden spatula for the Spatula Seeker. So that jelly that we collected after beating the boss, well, it was for Squidward. So I headed back to him, completed his mission in the jellyfish fields and earned the jelly fishing trophy. I feel like I've said jellyfish at least 10 times already in the last 20 seconds. Now that Mr. Squiddy was happy, I moved into a new level, downtown. I turned into a ball and made this jump. I then switched and played as Sandy because she can glide and like lasso these things, allowing me to jump much further than SpongeBob can so I could reach higher platforms. After a bunch of platforming, I met with Larry, the hench lobster, who wanted me to get his uh, TV antenna because his TV wasn't working. Okay, sure, I can do that. A little more platforming later, I reached the top, I went around the back. Wait, hold up. Um, yeah, finding Patrick's 50th sock, unlocking sock getter. Once inside, I did a little bungee jump and moments later, and sponge smasher for defeating 100 robots as SpongeBob. After collecting all of the gears in the downtown level, I handed them to Mrs. Puff, completing her mission for the Uptown and Downtown trophy. Next, I aligned all of these lifeguard towers, which actually took quite a while, and finished the Goo Lagoon mission for Surf's Up. With that completed, I headed back over to Lara and was rewarded with a golden spatula which turned out to be number 25, which unlocked Super beach. Spatula Seeker. Next, it was time for the second boss fight. This one was against Robo Sandy inside a boxing ring. I started out as SpongeBob, simply avoiding attacks. And then when it does this slam attack, I bounce up and do my own slam attack. After doing it three times, I switched to Patrick. Pretty much the same deal as before but it does this like clothesline maneuver that I needed to jump over. I would then do a slam attack, pick up the head and throw it into the fuse. Now back as SpongeBob for another three final attacks. But the difference here is I now just had to do the triangle uppercut move and then sweet victory was mine. There's the robot's Here we go, vulnerability. almost, last hit. SpongeBob goes for it. Next, I had to complete this rolling ball puzzle, and to say it caused me a few issues is an understatement. This was by far the hardest and most annoying section in the whole game. But if I was able to complete it, I would earn the Keep It Rolling trophy. Wow, I can't hit this. No, no, no. Oh, um, are you serious? Come on, no! Dude, it keeps going in there! Right, are we good? Oh, that's so awkward. Right, jump over here. What do I do now? Right, hit that. Bro, come on. Don't. Don't. What happened? Did I miss it? 
I miss? Oh, come on. This puzzle is absolutely horrendous. What a trash, annoying puzzle. You got s Bro, really? This is so annoying and slow. You gotta roll that up there. Wait for it to go around. Hit that for it to go around that way. Hit that. To get it on that. What is SpongeBob doing? <laughs> yeah, wait for that to go over there. Wait for it to roll around. Hope you don't miss this shot. Wait for it to get to about around there. Roll that there. Trigger that. Hope it catches it. Wait up here for it. Quickly go across. We got to be super fast here. Attack that. Hope you hit that, which I didn't. I think I've just There's made it. Like the smell of Jump on it. Failed this about 80 like times. It seems the easiest thing to do is just block it like that. Get that on there. Then you got to be quick again, because then you got to hit this. Oh my god, and I failed again. And now i got to redo the whole thing. This puzzle is absolutely awful. If you played this game and done this puzzle, you probably know just how terrible it is. The only part of the whole game's... Oh my god. I'm getting trolled so hard right now. The only part in the whole game that's, like, really irritated me so far. I must have failed this at least 10, 15 times so far. Finally. Now that I've recovered from that horrible situation, the next room had the next boss fight. And this might have been the easiest one yet, which is a nice balance, you know, went from the hardest part to probably the easiest. All I had to do was jump over his bubbles, wait for the middle to go blue, and then roll my bowling ball at him. Do that three times, three hits, and we're done. And here we go. One more. I then activated these lasers, allowing me to advance and get my final artwork. After handing them in, I completed the main mission for rock bottom. While sliding down this hill, I grabbed a sock, which turned out to be number 40, which means I've now got half of them unlocking the sock concert trophy. Ignore the fact that I fell off the side while trying to look at the trophy. <laughs> Another slide next. If I could beat Bubble Buddy's time, Bubble Buddy 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 Bubble Buddy's time, yeah, I think I got there in the end. It would give me a golden spatula, which was my 50th, earning me the Ultra Spatula Seeker. All right, here we go. Oh, I think I'm going to be cutting this super close. Five seconds. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wow. After that, I complete the third and final ski slope in Sand Mountains, unlocking Life's as extreme as you want to make it. Continuing on, I would earn the Toxic Terror Trophy if I could beat Robo Patrick. It would take nine hits for this one. Starting out with SpongeBob, the robot would spin, spitting acid all around. After avoiding it, it would fall, allowing me to hit him. After three hits, I switched to Sandy. Another three hits here. The only difference was the floor was now completely filled with acid, so I had to be careful. With that done, I switched back to SpongeBob for the final time. The whole floor now was just full of acid, so I just avoided his attacks and then hit him with the bubble bowling move. Last one. While exploring, I defeated my 100th robot as Patrick, unlocking Star Smasher. The only character left now is Sandy. But moving on, I was in the same area. I found all of the campers in the kelp forest for Mrs. Puff. After that, I headed right back to Bikini Bottom and I found the final hidden spatula in the area for Hello Bikini Bottom. The next trophy called Robot Encyclopedia was for destroying one of each type of robot. The final one was this big robot in SpongeBob's dream level. I just had to hit him once to get rid of the shield and then hit him again. I then found the final golden spatula in SpongeBob's dream on top of Squidward's house. That is one high bounce. Next, I entered Squidward's dream and unlocked the Are You Ready trophy for talking to him 10 times. 
During that same dream, I defeated all of the enemies and grabbed my 75th golden spatula for Mega Spatula Seeker. Meaning, we only needed 24 more. That was actually quite hard. Next, I found myself in Sandy's dream. I managed to destroy my 100th robot for Squirrel Smasher. During this next section, I reclaimed the Flying Dutchman ship in the graveyard by activating all of the cannons for Ship Shape. Now that I'd taken care of the ship with the cannons, it was now time for a boss fight against the Dutchman himself. This was by far the easiest one. Literally, all I did was run left, run right to avoid this, this attack that never hit me, and then press circle when he kind of flies forward. After three cycles of this, it was done, and I grabbed my trophy. Enough, you dirty ghost. Now that I'd had 75 golden spatulas, I was able to head inside the chum bucket and face Plankton's Spongebob robot. This boss was way harder than the pirate one, but nothing too crazy. I avoided his slam, swipe, and word move, I guess you'd call this. I'm not really sure what you would call that move, but I avoided them all and then used a rocket to hit each of its weak points that you can see the big bubble bobble things. Once done, I earned Spongebob versus Spongebob. All right, jump over that. Last hit, I see the orb. There we go, nice. After that, I ended up inside the robot, having to destroy its brain. Having done so, I foiled Plankton's plans and finished the game for the small does not rule. With the game finished, I only needed four more trophies, including the Platinum, which was all 100 golden spatulas and all 80 of Patrick's socks, which would unlock the final trophy for getting 100% completion. At this point, I had 90 golden spatulas, so I only need 10 more, and 59 socks. So I wasn't too far away. So I set off, clearing out anything that I had missed. Five of those spatulas would actually be coming from Mr. Krabs in exchange for more shiny objects, and three from Patrick for the socks. So that meant I was actually only missing two. Both were at the graveyard. So I quickly headed over and grabbed them. All right, so this should be the last one now for all the levels. After that, I searched for the remaining few socks. Turns out I needed three more. One was for hitting all of the eight snowmen on the slide. Be gone, snowman. Oh, that's an awkward jump. There we go. There's my sock. Another find for Patrick. Then, hitting all of these tikis in a row with a bowling bubble. And finally, the last one was in the dream world, and that's all 80 of Patrick's smelly socks for Sock Opera. Now all that was left was to get some more shiny objects for Mr. Krabs' final few golden spatulas. I found a video online that showed a super quick and easy way to get them, so I headed on over to the Goo Lagoon level, went to the caves, and then basically just turned around and left the caves, which spawned me right up on top of this platform. So I ran over to the checkpoint, triggered it, and then used my bubble rocket to destroy three sets of red boxes. We had a set on the bridge, a set over on, kind of over at the sea, and then another set on top of the sandcastle. Once I'd destroyed all three sets, I just simply jumped into the water, which respawned SpongeBob right at that checkpoint, allowing me to keep doing it over and over again. Each time only took like 20 seconds, so it was really fast, and it would net me around 900 shinies. So it really didn't take long at all to get the remaining ones that I needed. But now that I had all my shinies in hand, I went back to Mr. Krabs. All right, here we are. This should be the final so, do you want the spatula that I need for, for 7,500, which should unlock the trophy for all of the spatulas, 100, That's the 100% trophy, and then of course, pop the platinum as well. Games took me about 10 hours, super fun. Trophy, super ultra mega spatula seeker. Get all 100 golden spatulas and 100% 
SpongeBob for getting 100% completion, which means all golden spatulas and all socks, which means the beautiful platinum is ours, Neptune's spatula, get all of the other trophies for the game, and that is SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom complete. Join me for the next SpongeBob game. I've been Mr. Leaning. Take care, and I'll catch you all on the next video. What is that face, SpongeBob? <laughs>